The following rare IBM film from 1960 shows a Model 7070 mainframe computer in a data center environment. It is running a demonstration program to calculate customer billing for a utility service. It provides an excellent example of early data processing equipment as it looked in the early 1960s. In 1958, IBM introduced the Model 7070 transistorized data processing machine. It was part of the 700-7000 series. The 7070 combined the very high input and output speeds required for large-scale commercial data processing with the internal speed required for the complex calculations encountered in scientific work. Here, an operator is seen loading punch cards into a Model 7500 card reader, which could read 400 cards per minute. The overall speed of the system was increased by the use of synchronizers, also called buffers, which allowed a number of operations to take place simultaneously. The system used over 30,000 transistors and 22,000 diodes, mounted on approximately 14,000 circuit boards called SMS cards. SMS stands for Standard Modular System. Each SMS card was a field-replaceable unit designed for a specific logical operation. Single-width cards were 2.5 inches wide by 4.5 inches tall with gold-plated connectors. Some double-width cards were also used. In this film, each magnetic tape unit is labeled, indicating the type of data it is processing, such as input program or customer accounts, and so on. The 7070 had many features which made it efficient and economical for the solution of scientific problems. It was a decimal machine, which provided easy communication between scientist and computer, at speeds that rivaled many binary computers. Typical languages used with the machine were Autocoder, RPG, Fortran, and COBOL. The well-designed 7150 system console allowed the operator to monitor, control, and communicate with the computer itself. In the magnetic tape units, one can also see the tape moving inside the vertical vacuum columns of each unit. The IBM 7301 core storage provided between 5,000 and 10,000 words of magnetic core storage, with an access time of 6 microseconds. It could utilize punch cards and magnetic tape, as well as optional disk storage devices. The 7070 could attach up to 40 individual Model 729-2 magnetic tape drive units, which had read-write speeds of 15,000 characters per second and four Model 7300 magnetic disk storage units, each with a total capacity of 6 million digits. Typical applications for the 7070 included educational and scientific applications, as well as accounting and finance, inventory control, payroll, record management, billing, and other general data processing tasks. The Model 7400 printer could print up to 150 lines per minute. In 1961, the purchase price of a typical system was around $820,000, and monthly rental was about $17,400. The 7070 was eventually replaced by the 7074, introduced in July 1960, and the IBM 7072 Scientific Computer, introduced in 1961. One of the benefits of the 7070 was its upgradability in the field to a 7074 system, which was 4 to 20 times as fast and compatible with all 7070 programs. 
Customers of the 7070 included American Airlines, General Motors, Yale University, Union Carbide, Bank of America, the U.S. Armed Forces, Neckermann Versand of Germany, Europe's largest mail order house, and many others.